Hey, what's up? My name is Daniel Morris, and I'll be installing this new stereo in the place of this old original stereo in my 2014 Chevy Cruze. So let's get started. Right here, I wrapped some electrical tape around the tip of the flathead screwdriver so it won't scratch up the plastic. Okay, so now that I got this thing off the front and this thing off right here, it was a bit of a challenge to unclip them all, but I got it all. Now we'll go ahead and get a seven millimeter socket and we'll undo these four bolts right there. And then we'll take this out and then undo a few more stuff. We'll go ahead and pop this one out right here and just pry it out like that. Go ahead and pop that out right here. We'll just go ahead and pop, pop that guy out right here. Now that we got these two out, we'll go ahead and install the new one. So for the moment of truth, we'll go ahead and start it right up. Turns right on. That's awesome news. And it looks great. Sounds great. We're going to have to go through a lot of details on how to run this thing. But anyways, let's go ahead and finish putting this all back together. Let's get going. And that's it, you just snap everything together and it fits perfectly. And then we'll go ahead and turn it right on. And the display just turns on really quickly like that. The touch screen is very responsive. It's like my phone screen. And like there, you can see my door is open. Now it's shut. You can see your current speed and your engine speed. And you can change that from kilometers or miles per hour and then other things like that. And then your music, just like that, you can hit it go over there and then your Bluetooth, pretty simple, then your radio. You can select the channel, whatever you want. And yeah, it's pretty simple. And then your maps are right here. Let's see if I'll go to there. And then you can just select where you want to go and it'll go there and yeah. And then your, you have more apps right here. You go up there you have all these apps. You can search up stuff. You can watch videos, upload videos to here, and there's a video about the company. And yeah, anyways, it's really simple to use. And you have your calendar, which is really cool. And you have a calculator, you have Chrome, and a Play Store where you can download apps. And then in car settings, you just hit that and you can see a bunch of different info. There is a bunch of cool things you can do. And there's a lot of information you can see by clicking these items and there's just so much information on here and then for the android settings you can go to here and you can basically go onto your like your phone settings and then here's your volume settings your brightness navigation you can choose what maps you want to use and then gps detection you can see where it is running and working good and then you have more steering control things that you can do and then of course your logo settings and yeah well, anyways, this stereo has a lot of features I haven't even covered, and I hope it works for you. And if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments, and I'll try to answer. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.